it's always nervous in the car, but uh, they can finish the race like that. That's always races that you remember. If you can one day win and, and in bonus win with the national jersey of Belgium, this is something really special, you know. It's the 14th Sunday of the year, and in Flanders, that can only mean one thing. Bikes, racing, cobbles and hills. It's time for the 101st Ronde van Vlaanderen. The big strategy was really to eliminate, not as soon as possible, but when there was a moment, and the wall was, was one of the, the key moments we said at the meeting. It's the Moor Kapelmoor, back in the Ronde van Vlaanderen, 20% maximum. With, uh, with the Muur of Gerard Bergen in, we knew it could be critical. And to make a selection, you often have to surprise also. With those three in the front, uh, Matteo, Tom and, and Phil, they're one of the, the smartest riders we have in the team. So you're confident that at that point of the race, they will, they, they will do what they, what they have to do. This is a very good situation, the guys. A very good situation. Huh? 2.2 kilometers, the longest climb on the Tour of Flanders. And this is where the party really begins. I mean, it was not something really prepared. The circumstances of the race made that this happened. And then, you know, when you get there in the front with 20 seconds uh, advantage after the Quamon, you, you, you think for one second, what can, what can I do, stop or not stop? You know, I, decide, uh, I decided to, to keep going. It happened. I mean, but it was also not probably Phil's intention to go so early alone. But if you accelerate and nobody follows, then at a certain point you have to make the calculation, what do we do? He didn't go full gas from in the beginning. He just cruised along on, on a steady pace. I mean, on the climbs, it's, uh, it's of course always hard, but in between, he just kept the steady pace because of, yeah, it was still a long, long way to go. This is very nervous time here for Gilbert. He knows he's got to commit to this. He can't hold back. He can't sit and wait. He's got to give it absolutely everything, but he's got to do it in a measured way. So it's Tyenberg time. Well, normally it's Tom Bonham we see shooting up here. This time it's Philippe Gilbert. Just to tell you how bad were the radios uh, working that day. I didn't even know that this was happening, you know. Sagan is making his move. It had to come sometime. And it is not against the odds that he could do it from here. Remember, there's still 36 Ks to go. Last, last time the Quaremont and he just had to go full, which he did, and the look was on our side also. Oh! oh! Sagan is down! No! Sagan is down! Taken Van Avram up with him! Nassen's there! And that could be it! That could be it for Gilbert! Racing is racing. Something can happen everywhere. And of course, the three strongest riders at that point in the race. The other one was in front. He really died the last, last five kilometers. Phil was really, really in another world. It's like a straight line, almost two and a half K straight. And you see the finish, as close as you come, it's coming bigger and bigger and more real. This is a celebration. The Belgian, the national champion, Quick Step, who are gonna win it again. Three for Philippe Gilbert to celebrate. When, when you're inside the last kilometer, you realize that you're going to win. And I said I'm going to do something special, you know. 